Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim. We are on exit 42. I think in my previous video, I may have said exit 44 to get to uh, the Orchards uh, RV park. It is exit 42, which is New Harmony. And here we go. It's just right around the corner here. It's after six, so I got to use the code to get in. I'm just coming back from Senior City. And there's the RV park right there. And it is an amazing, clean, modern RV park. I really like it. And after you drive to uh, Senior City a couple of times, like I have already, it's a hop, skip, and a jump. And you're down here by yourself. The weather's amazing. Temperature has fluctuated quite a bit today. Very comfortable though. As you can see, the uh, little gate is down. We're gonna pull in the uh, mirror here so I can get close enough to do it. There we go. Oh, it's so comfortable outside. You don't even need air conditioning. <clears throat> oh, got some more new neighbors. The place is filling up. Wow. This place is now full almost. Look at that diesel right there. That Allegro. That's new. I'm over here on the left. These pull-through sites are going fast. These little back ends are still available. See, that's the advantage of having a 25-footer like I have is these pull-through sites are... Um, a lot of people have these big, long RVs and they cannot put them in these little sites. And those sites go fast. And where I'm at right here, if I don't run into my trailer... about as close as I want to get. There's home sweet home. Let's get our groceries out. We've got a mess here. I did wash the outside. I'm going to do my best to organize the inside of this, this truck. Um, you know, probably in the morning or something. And there's my neighbor there with that little can. I think it's a cute camper right there. A little Swift. And that's a casita right down there. And on the other side of them, that's an Oliver. That's a very nice, uh, you know, quality-made unit. But I like this little Swift here. This little J-Flight looks pretty good. So uh, I'm going to be doing a, a Cowboy Steak uh, tomorrow night because uh, it's frozen. I'm going to defrost it now, put it in the refrigerator. That'll be coming tomorrow night for you guys. Uh, golf is back on the agenda. Uh, more tours, uh, scenic routes, and checking out some stuff. Uh, like I said earlier, Miss T has purchased her ticket. It's a lock. She's going to be coming towards the end of the month. It's off to San Diego. I've got a couple of subscribers that would like to uh, get with me in Cardiff and in Temecula. Uh, Hector and uh, California Steve. I just got off the phone with him. Super, super nice guy. And he enjoys the channel. It was a pleasure um, talking to him on the phone today. We might... Uh, Get the links together and play a little golf. Look at this view I've got here. I'm paid up for a month. I have no regrets. And I'll be uh, doing a video tomorrow for that, uh, what I call the living room over there, the common area in the laundry facilities. Uh, you can just kick it and hang out. You get bored hanging out in your camper or you got a small one like that. And you want to go over there and just uh, watch TV and sit in a big room with a beautiful sofa. They got it. Where do you see it? So there was uh, where uh, Jay and uh, Bev were for one night. Uh, they moved on and uh, going to Colorado or wherever. I'll find out. Uh, they're making their uh, travels continue on their own uh, with the little doggy. And then they're going to get back to Florida eventually. They don't want to go back just yet. 
uh, but uh, they're just out traveling around uh, doing their own thing. And it was a very, it was a pleasure meeting both of them. We, we had some good quality time on the golf course. We sat last night, talked in their class B for about an hour or more, uh, just talking about stuff, getting to know each other more. And, um, you know, it's just amazing. I meet these people, we start chatting and it's like, you know, you just, I'm an open book. I mean, I just tell you, as you know, I put everything on the, uh, on the web here on my YouTube channel. And when I get to know you and meet you, you know, I got nothing to hide. I just tell you about what's going on and they do the same to me. And uh, they've invited uh, Miss T and I uh, to come to the villages and stay with them uh, for a couple of few nights while we check out the villages. If we want to do that, uh, go to dinner together. And, uh, you know, they just, everybody's so nice that I'm meeting uh, through this uh, YouTube thing. This is wonderful. And now I own it. I'm going into this beautiful uh, Microlite, um, this Flagstaff 25, what is it? The FKBS, and uh, turn on the TV, put on some grit, have a little snack. I'm trying to be good on my diet uh, so I can look really good and uh, be in shape for Miss T. I was gonna have Mexican today, but I said no, and I had a salad. And I'm, I'm eating my, uh, I gotta put some more of this in my nose. I'm getting kind of stuffy right now talking, but I, I got the, uh, you know, it's terrible in here. Don't look at it. I've got that Tylenol sinus somewhere. Uh, I found my laundry soap. Well, I'm going to clean all this up. And it's going to be all cleared out of here and put in the camper uh, while we're in California. And we're just going to travel. Look at my gas mileage, 16.3. I haven't seen numbers like that in a long time without pulling that beast. So it'll be all right. I was going to rent a car, uh, but I'm not worried about putting the mileage on my truck. So, you know, we'll just probably drive this to California. We don't need another expense. I'm already going to have to book a room around that 4th of July holiday. And uh, hopefully we can figure out a way to stay, I don't know, three to five nights, probably three or four nights at the most will be all we can afford. And uh, see what we need to see over there. Uh, visit a couple of subscribers, go out to eat. I just want to drive her up and down the coast from the lower part of San Diego to uh, Laguna and Newport, but mostly San Diego, where I grew up a little bit when I was younger. Uh, California Steve told me, and uh, he lives in Temecula, that I wouldn't recognize it, and I'm sure that's true. I just know that's true. And I'm going to be uh, dealing with a lot of traffic, so I'm going to practice my patience already. But one, one thing for sure, we're going to crush it.